The Assembly Committee on Education held a public hearing last week on a bill that would create a scholarship for children with special needs to attend any public or private school in the state. The new bill, authored by Senator Leah Vukmir and Representative John Jagler, would only apply to students that have been denied open enrollment. Under the extremely successful open enrollment program, students with special needs are unfortunately at a very supreme disadvantage. Unlike the general student population in uh, open, enroll, open enrollment, a special needs student can be denied open enrollment due to costs as well as space concerns. What this has led to is approximately 42% of applications for open enrollment being denied. Last year, that was about 2,300 applications. Jagler told the committee that the public education his daughter with special needs received is great, but that is not the case for all parents. These parents don't have anywhere else to go. They have been locked in or have been locked out. They cannot leave the school district because open enrollment, the system that was created for them, doesn't work. Parents Danny Rossa and Kristen Glazer spoke in favor of the bill and discussed the problems that they have had with their local school districts. I have two girls. Cameron is almost 13 and Chloe is 9. They, have, they attended MPS for eight years. During that time, I had a licensed special education teacher state in numerous IEP meetings that it was not her job to implement my daughter's IEP. Sit on that for a moment. I had both of my girls geographically included in class with no modifications to their work, even though it was written in their IEP. We have had three different principals in the last four years. My daughter has had four different special education teachers in the last four years, with two of those teachers being long-term substitutes who didn't know how to implement or follow through with my daughter's IEP. One of them did not have a license or a certification to even teach special education. A representative of the organization Stop Special Needs Vouchers spoke against the bill because of a bad experience her child had at a charter school and talked about her option to go back to MPS. So they have, they rule you in saying they have door-to-door -door pickups, smaller classes, and so on, but don't let that nonsense fool you. To me, charter is not where it's at. I tried the rest, and MPS is the best. I'm going to stay with MPS. I'm going to stay with MPS. Parents who support the scholarship, however, say it is needed because they don't have any other options. All I could do was to use the open enrollment process and just get out. I applied for open enrollment. I had gotten denied. I tried an in-district transfer within my own school district and I had been denied. At this present time, my only option is to sell my home and move. Since I have been sharing my story publicly, publicly for the past three years, I have begun to get calls and emails from other parents who are dealing with similar issues in their resident public school district. These families, like me, felt trapped. Some of them simply want to switch schools within their district and have been told no. Others want to switch public schools but have been denied open enrollment, most citing undue financial burden. This makes me wonder, are we funding institutions or are we funding children's education? Glazer told the MacGyver Institute after the hearing that she has all but given up on her daughter's education. I'm just abiding my time for the next two years. I've conceded she's going to get no education until sixth grade when she goes to a different school. Unless this bill passes. For the MacGyver Institute, I'm Nick Novak.